Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more DR Billions. So, after the insanity that was Cape Storm, you should definitely watch that if you missed the previous episode, by the way, we are going to do the Lowlands. This mission looks easier, however, with this game you never really know. It is a difficulty 2 mission, but Cape Storm was technically also difficulty 2, and that was a lie. In any case, before we get started, I'm actually going to start the transportation techs because I don't have any of them right now and I would like to get at least stone transportation eventually. And the first one is gold transportation, which is definitely going to be helpful early on. Let's get that then and I will save the 80 remaining points. Alright, let's get started on the lowlands. And here we are. This looks like a very interesting start already. Okay, we got stone literally in range of our command center, I like that. But I also see some zombies, which is probably a bad sign. Well then, let's just get started on some tents as usual, and then wait for gold. And we can start clearing the zombies. Oh, and is that Aaron? Yep, there's Aaron, literally right here. Nice. So at least we don't have to look for resources very hard, they are literally right there. Let's maybe clear along the forest line, because I would definitely like to get more than one sawmill, and this is not enough space for more than one sawmill, I can tell you as much. And we should probably clear close to the stone, because we will need a quarry early on. And then perhaps place a gate over here, just to secure that corner. But first we need the sawmill, obviously was the best one we can get. I could get plus 13 right here, or we can get 12 closer to the command center. And that way we'll be able to get the second sawmill a little bit closer to our command center. I like that. So right here. That looks reasonable. And let's keep clearing. And then we'll need a little bit of food. Let's start from fishermen cottages. They are going to be better. 18 and 16. Alright, looking good. This is quite a few zombies. Hopefully no fast ones, because I can't handle that very well with four rangers. Alright, I'm still clearing the zombies. I think I will focus on getting the second sawmill first, before we get the quarry, because getting stone won't do as much good right now. I need to get more wood. And we don't have to clear that much more. I'll just focus on clearing this area and keep an eye on the west side. Yeah, okay, one zombie is coming. Let's just go get him with one ranger and we can continue clearing this area. I could actually build a stone tower, or rather a wood tower. That would be quite helpful. They would have a target to focus on. Let's just build a wood tower right here. It can be temporary, it doesn't really matter all that much. But it will be helpful overall. It can guard this entire area. Alright, we got the tower done. I'm pretty sure it will have enough reach to hit any zombies trying to go through here. There's one coming right now, so we can test that. And I need to extend this wall slightly. Because if any zombies break through and hit the tents, we will be basically done with this mission before it even started for good. So I'm just going to extend this. We can demolish it later, but we kind of need it for now. And yes, I can see that guy over there. Alright, I think we cleared enough at this point. Let's place another sawmill right here. And we got enough space for a wall. I think... Well, I will still need another Tesla tower, but let's just build a temporary wall. Doesn't have to be overly fancy. Yeah, the tower is working quite nicely. So next up we can get a quarry. It might have to be on this side. No, plus four, right here. Okay, this is fine, let's grab that. And then get a wall over there. A new tap. We can build the soldier center, I think. Yes, we can. Well, I don't have a whole lot of space, like I said. Let's just place it right here. I have to place it somewhere. So this will have to do. Okay, this will do. Just might want to protect it, for obvious reasons. Come on. 
Yeah, this is fine. Probably a good idea to get a wall. Once we kill the zombies. Come on now. Yeah, let's just get a wall. I will feel much safer like this. Yeah, I have to say, this map is like extremely claustrophobic. <laughs> the start looked pretty good, but yeah. I guess that's the reason why all these resources are so close. Because this is a super claustrophobic map. Yeah. Well, either way, we are up to nine rangers now. And things are getting much faster now. I can kill them much faster. So that's nice. But we only got, what, nine more days? Nine days should be enough to prepare for the swarm. Then again, I have no idea how big the first swarm is going to be. Hopefully not too big. Alright, let's go then. We got quite a few rangers now, so this should go relatively quickly. Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's hitting a wall. That's fine. Hey, we can kill it from this side. Doesn't really matter all that much. We have to kill all of them anyway. It should be pretty quick. I am capped on my resources, but I mean, not much I can do about that at the moment. Space seems to be the limiting factor. We can, however, place a Tesla tower. We are fine on energy for now. Yeah, I think this would be a little bit too aggressive. Probably, yeah. And yes, I can see the zombies. Let's place one here so that it will reach the lake. And it won't be as close to all the other zombies we haven't killed yet. Just need to clear this entire area. There's a forest over there, so that's nice. At least food won't be a problem once we unlock farms. This is all farmland. A lot of farmland. Alright, let's get the quarry then. And then we can start recruiting soldiers. That is the plan. That will do. Yeah, amount of food again, which is a bit of a problem. We need some more fishermen cottages. We need that wall though, this is still a lot of zombies in this area. But that's basically the edge of the map. Like, look at how small this map is. This is the edge of the map, and this is the edge of the map. It's hilariously small. This is probably the most claustrophobic map in this campaign so far, easily. Oh, hold on. No, never mind. That's maybe a bit too many. That is a pretty large group. Hold on. Go in. I guess we can handle it, but that was actually quite a lot. And there's the first soldier. Let's send him in this general direction, shall we? Definitely a good idea. I'm just going to set the rally point, like, here. Yep. This should be fine, but I basically attracted this entire area. Maybe this won't be fine, hold on. Is this going to be fine? We should probably try kiting them. Maybe a little bit too late for that. Not to mention this area is a bit too small for kiting. I need that soldier right here. They will obviously destroy the cottage. We got the soldiers just in time. That was actually not a very good pull. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be a pull at all. I'm just saying. Get over here. Okay, I need the soldiers to be in range. I'll just let them hit the quarry because whatever. And we'll go inside. I'll just rebuild all that, or rather repair. They will not break through this wall. Now that we have soldiers inside. But yeah, that could have ended poorly if I didn't have the extra walls. That's pretty much the reason why I build more walls. They might not be necessary most of the time, but all it takes is for one zombie to hit a tent and you lose. Like literally, that's it, you're done. There's no recovering from that, if it happens. Alright, I can almost get the wood workshop, I just need more tents. I think it's safe to destroy this wall right now. At least parts of it. Mostly because I need some more space for tents. Well, I need more space for basically everything, but right now it's tents. Well, there's the wood workshop. I'll just have to place it somewhere around here. My options are kind of limited when it comes to placement. So this will do, I suppose. I'm going to build that wall slightly differently. And that leaves us with zero workers. But now we can actually unlock cottages. Maybe spam a few more tents right here. First, I'm going to unlock the farm, because we kind of need that badly. 
Like seriously, I need the farms ASAP. And then the cottages. I still have a little bit of space for tents. Okay, so they are coming from the east. And most of our troops are already here. Well then, I just want to repair that wall. I'll grab this guy. That's one more soldier. Come on, repair the walls. What's going on here? Why are they attacking? I don't like that. Anyway, let's prepare. Yeah, I got some zombies attacking the wall already. We only got eight hours. We are probably going to need thicker walls, if I had to guess. Let's maybe do that. Yeah, as many walls as possible. We got the wood, so whatever. Possibly a tower inside. Yep, might as well grab one. And yep, I see more on the left, that's fine. We got six hours. Kill them, go, go, go. A few more walls. I really hope that sword won't be too big. Because I can't handle anything that's overly big right now. Oh, hold on, oh damn it, are you kidding me right now? What the heck? Yeah. What the heck, dude? This is bad. Kill them before they destroy the tower. Screw the other ones, I need to plug this hole. Yeah, this is actually bad. This could have ended really poorly. I just need to plug the hole right now. I blame the soldier, that's probably his fault actually. He attracted the zombies because this area is so claustrophobic. Yeah, that's literally what happened. Well, I don't know, I have to deal with the swarm. I can't deal with this right now. I just literally can't. I can place a few more walls in case they break through, but... That's basically it. I can still get a few more soldiers. I think we can handle it. I got a few more units in the other tower, right. I almost forgot about those. Yeah, this is going to be fine, I think. Now, the swarm is coming from the northeast. It's going to hit over here, won't it? Yeah. And I used up my wood. Are you kidding me? Maybe they will hit here. I kind of hope that's going to be the case. Well, I don't know. Let's find out. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. Yeah, they are going to hit right here. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Really now? Really? I can't even get there very quickly. I will have to demolish some tents. Here's another idea. We can send an archer to lure them towards the other wall. Let's try to do that. I don't know how well that's going to work, but maybe it's going to work. This is bad. Like, I need to get some units here, but I can't get there quickly. I need to go all the way around or destroy the tents, which will give me negative workers. But do I really have a choice? I don't. Let's go this way. If they break through, that's it. We're done. This mission is over. Get in here. Okay, hopefully this is going to be enough firepower. That ranger inside the tower is probably going to die. It is a veteran, which is a bit unfortunate. But oh well. Yeah, no shit they are trying to break through. I noticed. Maybe the tower can hold. We'll see. Yeah, that ranger will die. Oh well. It was a veteran, but I suppose it was just one ranger in the end. I'm more concerned about actually not losing my colony, you know? Yeah, the sawmill will go down, I can't prevent that. I definitely can't prevent that. If they hit the tent, we're done, that's it, game over. Don't let them do that, even if it means losing a few soldiers. Come on. I'm okay losing a few soldiers. That's heck of a lot better than losing the entire colony, as you might imagine. We got some more dudes right here, let's send them this way. Probably going to need them. I think we are fine. 
But that was rough, man. Yeah, we attracted more. Probably because of the soldiers. They are pretty damn loud. Yep, I can see that group down there. Are you kidding me? Come on! As if that swarm wasn't enough. Well, alright. This is ridiculous. This is actually kind of ridiculous. Seriously? Well, I don't know. Let's send some soldiers, but I need to keep some forces up here. We are being attacked from like all directions right now. What the heck, dude? Come on, get your asses in here. And this is only a difficulty 2 mission. <laughs> yep. Well then, uh, how about we do some research? <laughs> farm or cottage? I mean, we need both, so I guess farm first. Cottages are no good without food, you know, so yeah. Clear that already. Can we rebuild our wall yet? Too many zombies too close to it. Okay, looks like we stabilized. If you can call it that. Okay, I'm just going to leave some units inside. So one guy in that tower. Uh, definitely one guy in like this tower over here. Get in here. And we can rebuild our wall. That was really rough. I actually thought I'm going to lose right there. I thought that's it. Especially when they broke through that wall. That almost ended this entire mission. And now we got the next swarm on day 30. We need to prepare for that. I'm actually going to leave a small gap here so that I'm able to move units through. Space shouldn't be as big of a problem once we get farms up and running as well as cottages. How about we clear in this general direction? Because that way I can actually build some more fishermen cottages. And we got more forests down here, we can also use those. Not to mention we pretty much have to clear them up anyway. Because I need more space. I need a lot more space. And I guess we'll research cottages. And I suppose we can start building farms. What's the best farm we can get? 62 right now. Right here. Yeah, let's do that then. Preferably as close to the workshop as possible. Then we can have another one like this. Once I move the wall. Alright, that's going to be the farm. And then we just have to wait for the cottage research. Alright, there's the cottage. Let's start researching the market right away. And we'll start upgrading the tents. We need a lot of that. Alright, the train has arrived, which means we got a lot more workers now. Let's put them to good use. First of all, let's keep recruiting more soldiers, because, you know, I kind of need those. We'll just queue up a few. That will be enough. For the, yeah, we should probably get another farm right away. We'll need it soon enough. And how about another sawmill? We could grab one, it's not going to be super amazing. I can make it a little bit better. We just need to expand in this direction. Okay, let's expand in this direction then, that's fine. Then we can build the wall maybe like this or so. Oh, and there's more stone. We are probably going to need the stone. You know, for stone houses and also stone walls. We will definitely need another stone quarry. We only have one at the moment. And while I'm not using stone just yet, it will be a bottleneck soon enough. Right, so I have the market. I'm just debating where to actually place it. It might be possible to place it here if I destroy the two tents. Although I'm not 100% sure about that. Let's find out. No. Well, yes, I can if I demolish the third tent. It might not be entirely worth it. Oh yeah, now I don't actually have enough workers. Well then, I guess we'll wait for another cottage or two. But that would be the best spot because it will reach pretty much every single tent I have. We'll just wait for more workers and then place it over there. Meanwhile, we can continue clearing. I'm still clearing close to the stone because we are definitely going to need that. We can, however, build a Tesla tower right away. We'll have a lot more space pretty soon. And I'm going to need it. I still need so much more population. We need 1200 total here. 
and I'm only at 256 at the moment. Okay, did we get the workers? Yeah, we did. So now we can place the market right here. Okay, let's go for it. And we can keep upgrading. Alright, so I finished researching the stone workshop, but I definitely won't have the time to actually build it right now. Especially since it's already day 30, the swarm is basically about to arrive. If anything, I would like to build a few more walls. Don't have the time for more Tesla towers. Let's just get some walls done. Over here and preferably over here as well. Yep, that is definitely going to be useful. We got 30 soldiers, hopefully that's going to be enough. I guess we are about to find out. It better be enough, because I'm not getting many more. That will be easy. The stone walls will have to wait for the next swarm, basically. Okay, they are coming from the east. Right, I'm going to grab as many units as I possibly can, but I have to leave some basic defenses in the other parts of the colony. You know, for obvious reasons. Alright, let's grab some soldiers. And no need for the rangers, I guess. And a few more from here. I will definitely get any veteran soldiers from this general area. This is 10 soldiers. I just need us to be trained to move out of the way. Come on now. Seriously, you're going to block the way, really now. What's being attacked? Oh yeah, right here. This is the most vulnerable part of my colony right now. I don't like it. I did build a Tesla tower so that I can get more walls. That was definitely the point of it. Also, east could easily mean northeast, and then they will attack right here. That is definitely a possibility. How about we build more walls there, before a swarm shows up? Yep, let's do that. I have a feeling it's going to be needed. No need for gates, we'll worry about that later. They can't break through here, because then I basically lose. Like, that's literally what would happen. Okay, it's coming from over here. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell which wall exactly they are going to hit. Probably this one, though. That seems to be the case. Alright, a few more walls. Since they are in fact coming. Like this. And we can probably destroy these. Just so that I'm able to move through here, you know? Yep, they are coming, I can see them. Alright, let's grab everyone. Probably also these guys. Yep, at least temporarily. This is going to be one big group, group one. And move the veterans into the tower. To extend their range, or really any soldiers, because we're out of time. Get your assets in here. Alright, well, that's about as good as it's going to get. This is a lot of soldiers. I imagine this is going to be enough, but... I don't know, maybe we should build more walls in the back. Let's at least build a gate. Here, because I don't want to block my movement too much. I could also get rid of the mill. And no, not anymore. Too late for that. Alright, let's just do this. Where can we place a wall? Well, right here, in the middle of the farm field. Not needed right now. I think we'll be fine. They are almost breaking through. But again, we have a lot of soldiers. We should be fine. This is 22 soldiers total, actually. Or are there 21? Yeah, we got this. Yeah, it's fine. A few of those might die, I suppose. Preferably not veterans. Yeah, they are hitting the mill. They are almost all dead. Okay, yeah, we're fine. That was a little bit close, but clearly we are totally fine. Alright, we are definitely going to need stone walls for the next swarm, which is going to be on day 42. Oh yeah, hold on. Something funny is happening down here. Alright, we'll deal with that, that's fine. And I need my stone tower back, or rather wood tower. Yes, you got plenty of orders. Stay here and defend, thank you very much. Alright, we can build the stone workshop now. I don't have a whole lot of space for it, I'll just have to place it somewhere around here, I guess. Preferably in a spot where it won't get in the way too much. So I'm thinking 
this is probably fine. It has to be somewhere. This is as good as anything else, really, so... I suppose that's it. Alright, there's the stone workshop. And let's maybe get the stone walls first. Although, we still have eight days. Let's get the stone house first. And we can start using the stone as soon as possible. I still need almost 800 more population. And while we have quite a bit of time, that's a lot of population for a map this small. Right, so I'm actually going to expand in this direction a little bit. Because that way we can also get more fishermen cottages. Food is starting to be a problem though, even though I built quite a few farms, as you can see. Clearly we need more. But fishermen huts give quite a lot of food for how little space they take. Which is why I want to claim this entire lake right here. And uh, the stonewall research is done. Now we can actually upgrade. First, let's upgrade this one. Because this is the most vulnerable area right now. Okay, we got the swarm coming from the north. I am getting the quarry up. But I'm not sure if I have enough time to build a decent wall over here. Maybe? I mean, we got 10 hours. But I'll have to sell some resources. Let's just sell all of the iron. Because I don't need that. And we'll buy stone. Okay, let's see how many molds we can build for that. Definitely need one over here. And probably like this. Let's actually get our troops in first. Also, from the north might also mean like northeast. And then they will attack this spot over here. I actually haven't finished upgrading this wood wall. Let me do that. Here, and one more section. Okay, that will have to do. Hopefully they won't attack over there, because I'll have to move all of my troops there. I suppose we'll find out. Alright, let's get an extra wall up. I only got six hours left. Okay, this is as much time as we're going to get. Do we have enough stone for this? Well, if I sell a few things, then yeah. Let's sell some wood. Yeah, this is going to be close. I am definitely cutting it close. One more batch of stone. Here. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so let's maybe grab more units. Definitely all of these. I am still keeping the wall back here, I mean, for obvious reasons, I think. Yeah, I'm going to grab all the soldiers that I don't need elsewhere. So, these guys. We got one awkward soldier in here. Probably don't need that guy. Okay, let's send him. And here we got a bigger group. We'll grab the veteran. I leave some soldiers inside, but not too many. We can grab this dude. That's probably... it. Yep, I think that's going to be it. Alright, I mean, this should be enough. That's 38 soldiers out of 52 total on the map. Oh, yep, they are coming already. From this direction. Now, I wasn't able to build a proper wall here because the stone is blocking the way. And it's too close to the edge of the map. So this is a bit of a weird area. Yeah, I need to get there quickly. There's not much point getting into the towers. They are mostly for the health there. I'll have to back up. Hey, hold on, how about we build an extra wall in the back? Even a wood wall will be helpful. I will, however, need a gate. Because I need to be able to move through, you know? Let's see. It has to be on this side of the Tesla tower. Well, like this. As close to them as possible, so then we can maybe build another one in the back. Okay, let's do that. I only have 13 stone right now. We can sell some iron. Buy more stone. I don't need a little bit of gold. But it's only 30 gold for one wall section. Okay. A few wood sections. Just to preserve the stone. Okay, that will do. I think this is going to be fine. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine, but I suppose we'll find out. Oh, wait, there are more incoming. Interesting. Okay, I think we have enough soldiers. But I'm actually having some dubs. 
I don't know, let me send a few more. Because I definitely don't want that wall to fall. That would be extremely bad. Yeah, they are breaking through, as you might imagine. I mean, it was pretty obvious that's going to happen. I hope we'll actually be fine here. I'm not entirely convinced. Okay, now we're fine in the south. Let's just go back. Uh, another wall, perhaps? Yeah, let's just get more, just in case, you know. Stone gate. And two stone wall sections. Yeah, this is going to be fine. We have another layer of defense to fall back to. But we might actually be okay. It's not that many left. Come on now. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. I think I'm going to keep all this. Yeah, it's going to get in the way a bit. But whatever. I don't want to have to rebuild the defenses every time there's a swarm. So I'm going to keep all those. Just going to rebuild a few things up here. I cannot completely wall off this stone. That's the actual problem. It will just have to stay like this. Okay, so back to working on our population. The next swarm is coming on day 56. I'm not sure if I can get 1200 population before then. I suppose I can try. We'll see about that. And I got it. This map was slightly ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's done, and I'm glad it's done. Let's see how many research points we got now. And if anything interesting unlocked. Oh, there it is. A tactical mission, finally. Okay. Also, the oasis and the valley of death. That sounds inviting. Plus 10% units view range. Very active infected, plus 30% awareness. I don't like the sound of that. The oasis. 2600 colony population, are you kidding me? What the heck? Okay. And the foundry. 400 research points. Yeah, we could definitely use that. I will be doing that next. We got 260 already. And I could unlock... Yeah, I can definitely unlock stone transportation after the foundry mission. And then we'll see what else. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't, and click the bell if you want to receive notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.